So we have a uh, fairly long question now. How long will it take in total from the start of the first dive to the end of the last dive to complete the following series of dives? 80 feet for 28 minutes, followed by 70 feet for 35 minutes, followed by 40 feet for 90 minutes. We are going to draw out a three dive diagram, uh, something you should be very familiar with by now if you've been working through my website in the uh, order intended. And we're going to make sure we remember to put in the safety stop reminder. Uh, the question clearly says we need to include any required safety stops. So a little reminder there, make sure we don't forget them. So the first depth is 80 feet and the time of the first dive is 28 minutes. I'm going to write that in orange because I will come at the end to add up the total amount of time and it makes it much easier if I can just work through the numbers in orange or the numbers in a different color. Um, just makes it a little bit quicker uh, and avoids silly little mistakes uh, that could be made in addition at the end. So we have nearly got all the information from the question filled in here and we're nearly ready to get out our ERDP ML. So I'm going to get out the ERDP ML now. We have all the information, turn the sound off and make a decision on which mode I should start in. Well, on these types of questions, um, very often it's quicker to start in the surface interval mode. When you get questions like this, I would recommend that as a default, you always start in the surface interval mode. There are times when it's not the quickest thing to do, uh, and we're going to see some examples of that later in this uh, quiz too, in fact. But on this occasion, it is the quickest option. So I'm going to click surface interval, enter, and I am going to start by giving it the first dive of the day information. So first dive, yes. The depth of my first dive from my diagram is 80 feet. It gives me my no decompression limit for an 80 foot dive. I don't need that information to answer this question. I've already been told that my planned time is 28 minutes, so I can enter that. It tells me a safety stop would be required on this dive. Now you might want to enter the uh, three in on your safety stop line at this moment, um, but I always wait until I'm in the dive planning mode before I do that. Uh, there is a reason for it, but it's uh, complicated. Uh, you might see examples of when it's relevant later in this quiz, though. So I'm just going to click enter at this moment and enter the depth of the second dive, which is 70 feet. It tells me my adjusted no decompression limit for that dive, but I already know how long I want to go. The question gave me that information. 35 minutes, enter, and a safety stop will be required at the end of the second dive. Again, information that I would prefer to enter when I'm working through this in the dive planning mode. So I'm just going to click enter at this moment to find that my minimum surface interval would be two hours and 28 minutes. Now, at the end uh, of working through this problem, I'm going to get out my calculator and add up the total amount of minutes to find my answer. If I was to put 228 down for my surface interval at this moment, that would risk me adding 228 when I get my calculator out, which would obviously be the incorrect answer. I need to work out how many minutes 2 hours and 28 minutes is and put that down so that all the numbers I've got in orange are in the same unit of measurement, as it were. So I'm going to enter 148 uh, as my minimum surface interval to keep everything in the same unit of measurement. So now that I've got that there, I can click enter and uh, I actually have to change my mode. Now it is time to go into the dive planning mode. So press and hold the mode reset button and it resets itself. I'm now going to choose dive planning, enter, multi-level, it's not a multi-level dive. And I am going to now start with the first dive of the day again. So yes to first dive, enter the depth, 80 feet, enter, tells me the no decompression limit. I can just click enter and tell it how long I'm planning on going for, 28 minutes. This is the point that, okay, it's definitely confirming you'd need to do a safety stop here. So at this moment, I would choose to write in the fact that I need to do a safety stop. Um, enter and then it tells me that my pressure group after this dive would be P. Now I need to click enter and give it the surface interval. 
2 hours and 28 minutes. And it tells me my pressure group would be A at the end of the surface interval. So I can click enter and give it the depth of the second dive and the time of the second dive. And a safety stop is required. So I'm going to fill that in as well. Um, and now I can click enter and it tells me my pressure group at the end of that dive would be pressure group T. So now what do I need to do? I am looking at my diagram as we always follow the diagram from left to right like this. I have pressure group T and I don't know what my surface interval is, but I do know the depth of my next dive. I need to work out this minimum surface interval. I need to go to surface interval mode. So press and hold mode reset and select surface interval mode. Enter, first dive, no. Pressure group at the end of dive one. This is a slightly uh, weird question for the ERDPML to be asking me because the pressure group at the end of dive one was pressure group P, but that's information that isn't relevant to it at all. Um, what it should really be asking me is pressure group at the end of previous dive, but uh, the screen doesn't have enough space to write that. So when you see this, pressure group at the end of dive one, always think to yourself, well, I'm just gonna give it the pressure group that I've just calculated. So I'm going to enter T and it now wants to know the depth of the second dive, 40 feet, and the time of the second dive, uh, which uh, my hand is right in the way there. Let me just get rid of that briefly. Uh, the time of the second dive is 90 minutes. And yeah, it tells me a safety stop is required. Uh, my screen jumped ahead of itself a little bit there. So we fill in the three minutes uh, for the final dive safety stop and click enter. And then it tells us that the minimum surface interval would be 37 minutes. That is in fact all the information we need to answer this question. We can go ahead and get out our calculator and start adding up the numbers that are in orange. So with my calculator out, um, I will do that. So it's all these numbers here that we need to add up. Uh, and that should give us the correct answer. So let's do it. It is 28 minutes plus 3 minutes plus 148 minutes plus 35 minutes plus 3 plus 37 plus 90 plus 3. And that gives me 347 minutes. So that would be the correct answer for this question.